Hello everybody and welcome to the first COD commentary on this channel. I want to say since 2016, I want to say is around the timeline on that. This, this series, right, Call of Duty, I have been playing this series since Call of Duty 2, which was in 2005 which was 19 years ago. And I'm somehow back. I'm somehow back to playing this game like it's the first day I've ever played it again. And we'll get into the topic on why I'm playing it. But I first wanna say uh, the class setup for today's video, I'm using the SVA. Um, as you can see, I have a diamond. Um, I do the camo grind and I'm working towards the mastery camos currently on the channel over on twitch.tv slash styles online if you guys did not know. Um, I've been having, dare I say, fun on this game since its release. I, I don't know. I just, I've just been having a good time. I, I, I don't have any other way to say it than that. Some would argue, oh, it's because you shit. The skill-based matchmaking hasn't hit you yet. And I'll be honest, because of the camo grind, you're probably right because my KD is not positive at the moment because of how many fucking shit challenges there are. Um, I've been going back and forth between hardcore and core when playing this game. I will say hardcore definitely makes the camo grind a little bit easier. Um, this is my actual first free-for-all on this game period, by the way. Don't expect anything fucking great from this gameplay at all. Um, this is a completely different pace of free-for-all than I'm used to. Um, I was kind of running like a ghost class setup on this, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, kind of making sure I was more on the stealthy side of things, but as you can see, there's just explosions and everything happening non-stop no matter what. So I got to get used to that personally. Um, but to kind of reel this back in, getting into the topic of today's video, uh, I don't know, man. I've just, I've actually been having a good time on this game. Um, the last time I enjoyed a Call of Duty, I want to say was back when, like, BO3 times, like, like in 2016. Um, I actually enjoyed the jetpack movement in that game specifically. I know everyone's like, oh, jetpack gods, fuck them, da 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 da. Honestly, I think BO3 did it right. That might be a hot take for another day, but I do think that BO3 did it right. But in this game specifically, the thing that I like the most is just, I don't know, it feels normal again, almost. Like, I understand this is definitely not the worst Call of Duty that has ever come out. It's borderline, but it's 100% the laziest Call of Duty that has ever come out. This is straight up Modern Warfare 2 DLC and it does bother me and a lot of people that this game is literally a dlc like this is not its own game and it should not have been its own game and i believe rumors were when sledgehammer was developing the next call of duty title they were forced to make this game this was not their choice this is an activision decision um they were initially actually trying to make something a little more innovative a little bit more forward thinking um sledgehammer is known to do that they've done that with all of their previous titles that they've done with the first one being advanced warfare which i personally fucking hate but they were forward thinking on it same with world war ii they were quote unquote forward thinking in the sense of how the game operates not necessarily the timeline but they've never hot take they've never made a bad call of duty they've made they've made like you know, annoying Call of Duties, and they're the ones that definitely took skill-based matchmaking and fucking shoved it all of our shoved it up all of our rectums as hard as they fucking could. But as far as making a bad Call of Duty, I don't think they've done that. There's a lot of other studios <laughs> that have. I mean, we don't need to talk about infinite dog shit in this video. But genuinely, I'm actually having fun on the multiplayer in this game. Um personally for me, um I am a zombies head too. Um I'll probably do some content on zombies come COD 2024, come to the end of this year. Um, I just don't see myself touching this zombies. This is Warzone DMZ vibe on the zombies. I'm not a fan of it. I tried it, fucking hate it. I, I no. I just I'm, there's too many different boss zombies. There's it's like mission based. It's not even round, like anything that's not round based. I'm immediately gonna be like alienate alienate myself from just because I don't think that that's zombies that's not the zombies that i fell in love with right but that again that's a topic for another day but like even streaming this live over on twitch.tv says thousand line with my friends and everything like that 
I've just been having fun, dude. Like, I don't know how to explain it any other way. Like, it's weird to say that because I really didn't think that that would be the case. Um, but I've genuinely just been playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. Like, I'm not, I didn't do the zombies glitch thing where you go into zombies and level up your weapons to then go back and get your mastery camos faster. Like, I've genuinely straight up just been playing multiplayer the way it's supposed to be. Um, learning, I don't even know any of the attachments. Like, I'm learning the attachments now. Um, I'm, I'm not really looking up how to do the best class setups and the best settings and all that. I'm just, I'm a complete novice brain that the last time was consistently playing Call of Duty, I'd say 2016, 2017 range. That was the last time I consistently played and I'm literally just taking this wholeheartedly as an open mind, playing this title with no outside information. And I've actually been enjoying it. Like, I know that's crazy to say, even for me to hear myself say it right now currently. Like, it's just that simple. I don't know. To kind of wrap up this part of the video, what I will say is I've just been doing whatever I can in the game to get the camos. That's been the main thing that I'm grinding for. I do feel once I finish the camo mastery grind, I'm not really going to have my really much to do or anything to go for it's going to be you know changing these commentaries more to be around like a topic that's going on in real life um i definitely have some plans and i definitely have some ideas on how i want to do these videos moving forward um i definitely not going to be face cam on these for the time being just because i think that that makes the most sense but again i just like i've genuinely been enjoying this game like i, I as somebody that like i said has been playing call of duty since 2005 I don't want to tell you how old I was in 2005, but I've been playing Call of Duty since 2005. And I don't know, man. I like the only thing that I think that could use some adjustments in this game, definitely skill-based matchmaking. That's going to be the thing. That is the thing that single-handedly has destroyed Call of Duty in the community and the enjoyment that people have in lobbies from it, genuinely. Um, the other aspect of it is definitely the kill streaks. I feel that they're not the same as they used to. Like some of these kill streaks, they they they, they put in work. Don't get me wrong. Like um, I'm usually playing hardcore, so like things like remote turrets are really good. Um, I've been using the uh, helos. I've been using the VTOLs and stuff like that. The, even the cruise missiles, good, right? Like there's a lot of good aspects to the kill streaks in this game specifically. This is one of the first games that has had good kill streaks in a while. And like I said, I think this is just the stepping stone of like the next phase of Call of Duty that's going to be successful. I don't think we're there yet, right? This is definitely like the first step. Modern Warfare 2 walked so this game could run. And I understand that this game is definitely like the laziest Call of Duty, but I do feel that in time, we will actually get a good title next year. A Treyarch's back, they're gonna be making zombies. They're gonna be catering to that community. They're going to be taking every the positive and the negative feedback from this game. So honestly, I think we're due for a great Call of Duty and we're going to hit it.